Hello Leica owners and welcome to my channel. After doing many tests, I can confirm that Affinity Photo is one of the best softwares in the market to edit Leica RAW photos. And I can show it to you right now. So today in this video, I'm going to edit a Leica file taken with Leica M9 and I'm going to do two demonstrations, one in black and white and one in color in Affinity Photo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop one Leica DNG in Affinity Photo. For example, this one is a good candidate, the tree with the foliage. There you go. So immediately, if you have Affinity Photo, you know that when you import RAW, it will take you straight to the develop persona. Now here is the very, very, very important part. Try your maximum to edit all of it in Affinity Photo develop persona, not in the layer mode. The reason why, because in the develop persona, you are working directly on the RAW. And that applies to any kind of RAW file for any camera. But if you are working inside the layer mode, what happens, you will be actually working a transformed TIFF version of the original RAW. So what's happening that, yeah, it's not that bad, it's not horrible, but you are losing the maximum benefit of working with the RAW file. So try your best, in short, to do everything in Develop Persona. That's very important. Now, let's take a look at the metadata. So it's a M9 digital camera and it's the ISO, which is also important information. Do I have it? Yes, it's in 160 ISO at 21 mm. Right, let's get back to the histogram. Now I'm going to turn on the clipping alarms. Let's do that. So let's see the clip tone. So the sky obviously looks a little bit blown out. That's totally fine. And I'm guessing the highlight is also, yep, a little bit highlight clipped up, but that's not really, really bad. Now starting with the tones. So first thing, I'm going to edit first the black and white, the pure gold of Leica. Of course, the color is beautiful, but I'm a big fan of black and white. So I'm gonna turn on my black and white and immediately turn into black and white. Then I like a little bit darker sky. So I'm going to turn down the blue a little bit and the cyan. Let's see what it gives me. Now it's looking good so far, obviously. Now I'm going to go to the lens correction. In the lens, I have to find the lens profile. It's not necessary because the Leica lens are already pretty amazing. Right, we are in the Leica section. Now let's find out our lens, shall we? So it looks like we don't have the lens profile of this particular lens inside the lens profile. Obviously you can go down to the Leica website or any kind of lens profile website and download that. Doesn't concern me at all because it doesn't look too distorted to me. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the curb and add some black like that and a little bit like that. So what's happening, what I'm trying to create is these shapes. See the tree that just look really nice and glorious. And that's exactly what I wish to achieve right here. And in the detail, I'm going to see the noise reduction obviously it's a very low iso so i don't need to do any kind of crazy noise reduction i'm going to turn on the detail refinement just to add some sharpness so i'm going to zoom in quite a bit make sure i don't over, over sharp anything because come on at the end of the day it's a leica lens so i don't think i need to overdo anything here right once i'm done everything looks just good that's the beauty of leica because I'm basically done with the editing. Yes, of course, in the the main layer section, the only thing I believe that I got left to do is this little cliff. So I want to bring some white back on that particular area. So I'm going to click develop. And of course, I recommend you to co click control J to click a duplicate layer, but I don't, I don't wanna bother it. And then I'm going to zoom right there and try to make some white out of this area. So I'm going to go to the dodge and burn tool. So click dodge, make sure my opacity is not that high. Hardness is as low as possible. And then try to make sure they are coming back to me. Slowly, slowly. 
So again, I don't want to overdo anything here, right? I just want to bring some white back. Similar to the old school dodge and burn like Ansel Adam used to do. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do right here. Again, I don't want to overdo it. Just simple, minimal. And sometimes overdoing things, it makes uh, everything just, you know, wrong. Because certain things meant to be secret, you don't have to see it. You have to feel it. So that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve here. So once I'm done, let's see so far. To me, honestly, looks so good. I really love this sun flare. So I'm going to do a quick export and show it to you. So I'm going to do there, click export. Uh, JPEG, full quality. And Leica folder. Click save. That was quick. Now let's go to the Leica folder. So that was our original file, obviously, which is to me brilliant, vibrant, beautiful color. Now let's uh, open the JPEG. Look at that. It's just wonderful, isn't it? Now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's see the detail. Let's go to the 100%. And look at that. I can just keep looking at it for hours. I'm not going to do that because I'm here to show you how to use the Affinity Photo to edit your Leica image. Now we're going to head to the color. So we're going to edit color in Affinity Photo. So I'm going to close that. Let's drag and drop exact same photo. Now pretty easy and quick. I'm going to try to do as much as I can right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on all my clipping. Starting with shadow, sorry, highlight control. So I'm going to reduce some highlight or other way to say recover some highlight. So I'm going to slow down just a bit. There you go. Sky, come on. End of the day sky. So you cannot do much right here. And anything else? No, shadow looks good. White balance looks good to me. Nice orange vibrant. Again, I don't need to touch vibrance. And I don't also need to add a saturation because it just come on. Look at this photo. It's already beautiful. Maybe just 0.1 clarity. I am very scared editing like a photo because at the end of the day, it's almost like if I'm doing too much, I'm, I don't know, it's some kind of like, it's so religious to me. It's like I'm disrespecting the image, which I'm clearly not. I'm just trying to add my own taste in it. But you know what I mean? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the fringe because it's against the sun. So I can reduce some fringing. Chromatic aberration. It should do some automatic correction to me. Takes a little bit time to correct the automatic correction. Sorry, chromatic aberration. Thing is, Again, I'm working directly on RAW in Develop Persona. The beauty of that workflow is that I'm working directly on RAW. I think I repeated that before, but you know exactly what I'm trying to say. I insist you do the same. I'm going to click Remove Lens Vignette. It brings some vignette from the corner. You know, I could keep it because thing is that at the end of the day, I would add vignette again. So I don't know what I should do, what I should not do. You know what? I'm going to just remove the vignette. Let's see what it gives me. And detail. I'm going to turn on the sharpness. Maybe add zoom in quite a bit. Add a little bit of sharpness. Noise reduction again. Wouldn't bother. It looks just perfect to me. To be honest, so far so good. What I can do, I can go to the tone. Turn on the curves and pull up the shadow, but not too much. Pull down the lower shadow closer to the mid tone at the bottom. Just a touch and then bring back the mid tone where it was originally. So you see nothing crazy. It just there's a minor contrast I have added right there. And then I'm going to click develop. So my idea is the same as the black and white. I'm going to bring back some, what do you call, a detail from that little cliff over here. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. Turn on my dodge and burn tool from the Affinity Photo. Make sure opacity is low, flow is low. Zoom in as much as I can. 
and keep brushing. There are many ways to do dodge and burn. And you are looking at my way. So I'm gonna turn on as much as I can. You know, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until you're satisfied, but be careful. Don't make it look like a very badly pain done by a children. Because people will notice you, I promise. They notice everything. They know exactly which one is um you know fake, which one is edited in the computer, which one is natural. We are human, of course, we are not that we are not idiot as much as the politicians think that we are. Anyway, I think I'm going overboard. You know, nothing crazy, huh? So look at that. It looks just brilliant in my eye. I'm gonna zoom in. Fantastic. So now you have this beautiful, vibrant lake color with the minimal edit. So I'm going to do an export right there and make sure I rename it to something else so that it doesn't get rid of my black and white. And then go back to the folder. So that's our original. And that's our edited JPEG. Still nice, beautiful and vibrant with a beautiful sun flare. All right, so yeah, like I said, Affinity Photo is one of the best software available in the market and very cheap to edit your Leica RAW file. Highly recommended, use it, take advantage of it, and don't forget, edit as much as you can in develop persona, not in the layer mode. Remember that. I hope you all the best. Look after yourself. Bye-bye.